What should you feed your parrot? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. Please be sure to get your copy so that you have even more information on what to feed your parrot. In this video, I am joined by my monster here, uh, Kailan, I mean Cami. She is a harlequin macaw and one of the largest macaws after a hyacinth um, because one of her parents is a green wing macaw, which is second to the largest behind a hyacinth. And I'm calling her a monster because she walks all over me. She walks all over everything. I'm also joined by my two um, kites, Ketsy and Nikki. And I've got some babies here. And these are parrotlets. Now, the coolest thing about the parrotlets don't you try to kiss her, is macaws are the second largest parrots and parrotlets are the second smallest parrots in the Cytocene family. How cool is that? Um, the largest would, macaw would be a hyacinth and the smallest parrot would be a, um, what are they called? Hi, Dweety Pie. Um, well, it'll come back to me. So, what should you feed your parrot? 70%, about 70% of your diet, your parrot's diet, should be um, pellets. No matter what species of parrot you have, pellets are a food that is credited with minimizing visits to the avian veterinarian around, I believe it was like the 80s or the 90s when pellets came out. And parrots stopped getting so sick. And that's because pellets are a real complete food for your parrot. And even if they're not perfect, some people will say, well, there's corn in them. Yes, there is. Well, they're designed for chickens. Yes, they are. But at this point, the 30, approximately 30 year track record that says that parrots are a lot healthier um, speaks for itself. I don't like taking my parrots to the avian vet. Uh, they don't like it, they get nervous, it's expensive, it's not fun. And I'm really fortunate because I have three avian vets within like 15, 20 minutes of me. So it's there's nothing wrong with going to the vet. When you need to go to the vet, you need to go to the vet. But if you are feeding your parrot, mostly pellets and experts recommend the plain natural colored pellets, um, then you just aren't going to be best friends with your vet and make them super duper rich. I mean, it gets expensive. So 70% pellets. The other 30% of your parrot's diet it should be green vegetables. Now you can vary that a little, you know, it's, it's like broccoli, carrots, um, bok choy, romaine lettuce. If it's green and if it's a leaf, it's great. Smaller parrots, like my parrotlets, they te seem to prefer, or they tend to prefer more of the leaves. And this is another one. Isn't she pretty? Look at her. Oh, he. Um, parrotlets are sexually dimorphic, so you can really see that blue stripe on his wing because he's a little boy. And he is about four weeks old. Gorgeous, look at those colors. Get your little baby. Mwah. So they're gonna prefer those leafy greens and little, little tykes like that, like the budgie bigars, the Australian birds, the cockatiels, they are going to also really require some seeds in their diet. Um, and they're gonna like those leafy greens. But when you're talking about monsters like this one, They'll eat some romaine, they'll do that, but they're gonna be better at some of those bigger vegetables. Seeds are not necessarily a part of their natural diet. Uh, some are, but they're more of a nut eater than macaws are. 
And so you kind of want to really watch your treats and the foods that you give your parrot. Mwah. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Um, even birds like the, my kites, they're, they're going to be the same, 70% pellets. And then I'm going to give them lots of veggies. My kikes are fantastic eaters, so they're really good at their veggies. <clears throat> now, along those lines, it's really important to recognize that there are some parrots like macaws and African greys whose diet requires nuts. They need a higher fat diet, but it can be a little confusing and it can be a little crazy when you have different species. You really need to research your different species because I also have Amazons and my Amazons, just like most of the cockatoo family, the bigger cockatoos, your rose-breasted galahs, your cockatoos, sulfur crested, you know, all of those, the mullican macaws, I mean, <laughs> mullican cockatoos, those guys, anaclectus, they're going to require a lower fat diet. If you give too many fruits, because fruits are high in fructose, which a body turns into fat, or seeds and nuts to some of those other birds, they're really going to have a hard time. You're not going to notice it, unfortunately, until it's too late when their bones are going to have really bad problems it'll be too late their veins are going to get clogged it'll be too late you know unfortunately you don't get to see writing on the wall it's more like you think it's fine you're feeding them those seeds or those nuts and those species that really aren't made for seeds and nuts it just it hits them all of a sudden and it hits them hard so be super aware and super cautious regardless of your species if you're doing, hey, what are you doing? Here, go flat. If you're doing 70% pellets and 30% vegetables, you're gonna be good. Now, your next question may be, well then what can I give as treats? When it comes to treats, you know, I used to give out, um, to try to avoid the seeds, I used to give out things like the little dried papaya, except I learned that those are really high in sugar because what happens is that as it dries out, the sugar content gets concentrated. So if you're gonna give something like mango or papaya, which is really good at giving your parrots the beta carotene that they absolutely need, and a lot of species have a really high requirement, I think it's for their eyes, because parrots have really good eyes, so then you really wanna make sure that you're giving them fresh papaya or fresh mango that's not dehydrated, so it's not concentrated. You want them to get like that body, the whole, the whole thing. If you're looking for treats, because a lot of people are looking for treats that they get to hand out. There's something so rewarding. It makes you feel like your parent loves you if you get to give a treat. It makes you feel like you love them. You're being sweet, you're being caring. You're giving them something fantastic. When my mom comes over, the first thing she does is she goes and she gets treats for my parents. And so I've had to train my mom that the Amazons don't get the walnuts. <laughs> you have to be really careful. So what are some treats that you can keep on hand? You can keep things like dried carrots or dried um, beets. Although beets are naturally sweet, they actually, when you look at the bag, the, lab the bag's label, they are not real high in carbohydrates or sugars. Do you want that? Let's see if you'll, oh, good, she's taking it. There you go. See, there's a great treat. Let's see if we can get the camera to show Cammy eating that a little better. You can all just also do things like the carrot chips my parrots just love. So we'll go off for a carrot chip back here. Would you guys like some carrot chips? There you go. And the carrot chips are a little harder because they are kept in the refrigerator. I find that it's so much easier to have something dry that I can just keep on the counter in a jar, open the jar and hand out. After all, my mom comes over, she opens the jar and she hands things out. And so does my husband. So for that, you know, it's a, it's a tiny bit harder, but you can keep things like your um, beet chips or carrot chips on the counter. Now, I do do things like occasionally, I really watch my parrot's diet. I'm very strict about diet. I will give out a shelled almond. I'll give out a shelled almond to certainly here, which one do you prefer? Oh, she took the beet instead of the um, almond. 
I'll give out the almond to my Amazons like maybe one every three days because I, I am big on nutrition and almonds have a lot of megahertz for your brain. So it's like we eat electricity, which comes in the form of foods and almonds are the highest megahertz, the highest electricity. And the thing is, the reason I will give out a shelled almond once every three days or something like that to my Amazons is because they have to work their beak. And I'm happy to give them a little bit of some exercise and it's really good for them to, you know, grind that beak down just a little with their almond. Sometimes they'll take the shell afterwards and just play with it and they're grinding down their beak and that's good. That's what would naturally happen. I also like to give out a shelled walnut to my macaws and my African greys. Now my macaws, they can get through a shelled walnut as quickly as you can flip open a soda cap. So that works for them. But frankly, the shelled walnut doesn't really work for anybody else. In my house, nobody else can get that shell open. So a shell also works for the African greys. Same thing, to give them something to work at. It, it stimulates them, it's fun for them. You know, they, and frankly, they're smart and they learn to put their lower mandible right in the crack of the almond. And then just like you get your fingernail right under your soda can, you know, they just flip it open. But again, they play with it and it's good exercise for them. So there's a couple of healthy treats. Try to keep your food really focused on those pellets for your parrot. It makes a really big difference. It's gonna keep their feathers in nicer shape. It's gonna give them a nice shine, especially when you squirt them and give them a little bath. Depending on the kind of parrot you have, you could do it every day, every other day. That's super duper good for them. And it's gonna keep your parrot uh, physically feeling better. And a, a healthy parrot is a happy parrot who is going to be nicer to you. You're not gonna have a moody parrot or you're really going to minimize your chances of a moody parrot. Diet makes all the difference. I know it's really fun to <clears throat> hand out things like seeds and if your parrot is hooked on seeds, the next video I will make will be on how to get your parrot off of seeds. But here, you want this? She actually needs to gain a little weight. So she's still weaning and so she gets right now as many nuts as she wants. They want her to eat them. And parrots naturally waste about half their food, if not more. I used to joke and say that I can't believe that they don't starve because they, they drop so much of their food. But um, super important to make sure you're giving them the right thing. After that, you know, one thing that's really good to recognize is that one of the very best things you can give your parrot, there's another parrotlet who you could see, you know, they're like a porcupine. Do you see all the little, um, the feathers in the shaft? And so they haven't, they're, well, they're starting to, to feather out and look at that when, oh, there you go. Do you see that? The feathers are starting to come out. One of the very best things that you can give your child or your parrot, Fid, is just love and approval. When I do training, sometimes I do just love and approval because feeling safe, secure, and loved, come here, come here, and getting scritches, little rubs around the ears. No, you don't get to kiss her. No, only me. That is one of the most fulfilling things and wonderful things that you can really give your parrot in addition to making sure, of course, that they're well fed. So try to also give out love instead of just giving out treats. Right, sweetie? Yes, yeah, you like your love, don't you? This one's a cuddle butt. And part of that is just her own natural self, but part of it is also the fact that we have really encouraged it because when she's come to us for pets, we've given them to her. So she receives a lot of love. Yes, don't you? And for that reason, and because she's still a baby and I've tamed her, I'm very comfortable having her close to my face and stuff like that. But um, it's always smart to be as safe as you can when you give love to your parrot, 
If you want to give them hugs and kisses, make sure that that's safe. But love is going to give them some of the very best food at an energetic level that you could possibly give. So be sure to give that out as treats as well. Thank you so much for joining me. If you love having a blissful bond with your parrot, you love feeling loved by your parrot and you love being able to love your parrot, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that YouTube will let you know the minute I release the video on how to get your parrot off of seeds. See you next time.